What's up guys? We are back at the track with the MR2. We are at a private test day. We got here a little late. Uh, Cletus and Cooper were here earlier. We tried to catch him, but uh, we were up late last night, actually out in uh, Mexico. We had some fun. So, we got to the track a little late. We only have a couple hours before they close down for today. We figure we bring the We figured we would bring the car back out because we found some things we can still improve on. We looked at the log and it looks like I'm still short shifting. I'm shifting at about 8,000 RPM when the limiter is now at 9,800. So that's almost 1,800 RPM that I am not accounting for. <laughs> Everybody's ruining the shot today, baby. All kinds of noise is going on today. <laughs> but we did add some more duty cycle, but Brendan didn't add the duty cycle until after 8,000 RPM. So I'm literally shifting before the boost would start to ramp up and we're hoping we can get our shifts a little better. We still need to program the dash so we have a proper shift light because that's really messing me up right now. The light comes on way early so I'm just listening to the car guessing on the shifts but we need to take some time, get the shift light set up properly but you know, we're here today just to send it how it is and yeah, we're see we'll see if we can get some better shifts. It shows that there's still more in the car how it is so we're still just trying to dial this thing in. But yeah, enough talking. I'm gonna go ahead and get suited up. I already got my pants on, top her off on fuel, and let's make some passes. Hell yeah, boy. What you gotta tell the people? Nice. Moon tuner bus, baby, let's go. She's on the moon tune right now, so. All right, let's hit it. Another reason we're out here is to make sure she doesn't break anymore. Yeah. We're trying to keep this motor together. We're putting this one through its paces. Yep, and I think we were going so slow last time because you need to pull my mirrors in for me. Slingshot engaged. Get the other one too, dog. <laughs> now it's a freaking race car, baby. what old Kyle has to say about that one. Okay then, bye. Guess we're hot lapping it. She bogged a little bit. Yeah. I tried to give her a lot of clutch that time. I wanted yeah. to go. So then once it bogged, you just didn't, yeah, I just didn't, go. didn't run it out? Yeah, I just knew it was bad. So I next should, time? I just back up. Yeah, he said back up next time. Yeah, you ain't got to run it out. That's what I did last time. Yeah. But so. I All right. I didn't want to hold anybody else up, so on my on my way back, I just uh, up the limiter just a little bit. Okay. So I didn't just want to sit there and start tuning it in the middle of the track. Right. So I just okay. Up it a little bit, and then I'll just give it a little more slip. But I was trying to I'm trying to get it to go. Right. So. Okay. Well, we'll give it another shot. I was like, what in the heck's going on? Because I figured at least you'd like run it down the back back half. No, but... I didn't even want to risk it. Yeah. I knew it was the, it just bogged, so I'm not gonna waste it. Right. That's a new PB right there. I still think there's a little left in the 60 though. Oh yeah, there's a lot there. Yeah, short track's gonna make or break that. 167. Yeah. I'm gonna tell him it was an 870. <laughs> 
Joke's on you, cow. Not too shabby. 870. 870? 870. 870. Oh! <laughs> 85! Let's go, baby. 167. Moving. Woo! 85. Hell yeah, dude. Yes, dude. 856. Yes. 167. Dude, a crappy 60 foot. Yeah. 60 was not there. Did it? Did you let out? Did you pedal it? No. It was I mean, coming up. Maybe barely, maybe barely in first. I was like, dude, I was like, that had to be like right there. <laughs> you were very disappointed with eight seven. I know. I was like, your face is like, <laughs> oh man. Yes, dude. Sick, man. Five. We're chipping away, boys. Yep. Get that short track figured out, man. This thing is freaking cooking. Dude. And in work. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking great. <laughs> yeah, I need a double. Dude, 167 out the back. Yeah, dude, she's, she's moving up top. See, it's because that time I actually let it. You let it out. eat. I know. I didn't even go to fifth that time. Normally, I'm so, I'm such in a rush to row it through the gears. Right. I could actually feel it. I'm like, oh, there's the power starting to come in at the back. Hell yeah, dude. She was cooking on that one. We get that short five. track chipped out, man. Dude. This thing is gonna be a rocket on rails. Five, 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 nine to the eighth. Hell yeah. It's our dude. first 550. Hell yeah. Yes, dude. Dude, I say we just do it again like that. I just got a, a little more slip. It's just the nose. It's going to wheelie like crazy. Right. It power wheelies. It's not like the clutch drop. It, it's power wheelies. Yeah, it's not. That's why I don't think a slipper is going to matter. Right. Like, I could slip it perfect. It, then it's going to wheelie afterwards. Right. That's moving. She's moving, dude. dude. What is that? Two tenths off the record now. Yep. It would have smoked the old record. That would have that would have been the new <laughs> MR2 record right there. Just had to go and reset See, it. See, I knew we could have done it, but <laughs> we just needed a few more track days to do it. Right. But that dude reset it, man. Props yeah. to him, but five. Chipping away. Chipping away, man. Eight five. Like that was my honestly, this is my this was my ultimate goal with the car. I really never planned on going faster than that number. An eight fifty car. Eight five, I was like. Um, sir, you actually can't run any faster than that, okay? Otherwise you're gonna totally be out of tech inspection, sir. No. <laughs> I know we're right at our cage, sir, dude. We're gonna have to put a gnarly cage in this thing next. Hell yeah, dude. And hold on. We gotta see, does the motor sound okay? Sounds yep. good to me. Sounds perfect. <laughs> no, da, 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 that that da, poor battery. <laughs> yeah, no, the battery was dead when we got here. <laughs> she charged back up. Hell yeah. I left the key on. Nice. Pumped. I'm almost like, let's just go. <laughs> I came over to this side of the car to shut this GoPro off right here, and it looks like Larry just had himself his first eight second pass. Open the door and this guy crawled out from under my hat right here. How do you think of that, buddy? Oh, he's he's pumped up, dude. I don't know how he got in here, but uh, Larry just went on a wild ride. <laughs> fastest Larry ever right there, 160. That's probably one of the fastest confirmed lizards in the state of Florida right there. <laughs> Crowning achievement right there. Dude, you what. that's so sick. 850 right off the rip. Basically off the trailer, we had one bog. Hell yeah, dude. He did his best in a couple of them where the, vans. Where the heck did Larry go, dude? Oh, he's on the roll cage. Oh, you don't want to be right there, Larry. That's the danger zone. If you fall off, you're getting ran. Oh, oh he's gone. Be safe, Larry. <laughs> the shifts are looking way better. So first gear was a little early, which is okay. I felt it starting to wheelie, so I came out of it. First gear was 92, which still isn't bad. That's actually not too bad at all. Second gear, looks like we went right to 9,600. Third gear, right to 95. And then fourth, all the way to 98, like right at limiter. So the shifts were much better, and we actually saw a peak of 40 PSI. So we know we're getting into those higher duty cycle numbers on the boost controller because on the 860 pass, the most it ever peaked was 37. We're making three more pounds of boost out the back, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's making a little bit more power. Get that front half sorted. We're like, it's right there, dude. But still, we have two tenths is still a lot, but I'm super pumped with 85, dude. Not shifting into fifth right there is probably a big reason why it actually got that almost 10th faster time because it didn't have the RPM drop, it didn't have the time wasted of the shift. Yep. You know, I actually let it rev out. You know what I think it was is we folded the mirrors and that's <laughs> that, what it that's was. That's the key to the success here, yeah, the folded we mirrors. We need those aerodynamics, baby. <laughs> Heck yeah. So we're just cooling it down a little bit. We're gonna look over the log a little bit more and then probably go up there and make a third hit, see what we can do. All right guys, second pass or technically third pass of the day if you count the bog at the beginning. Uh, this will probably be our last pass of the day just because we got here so late. 
but I'm super pumped on the 850. Let's see if we can't back that up, if not possibly beat it. And you know, the car's been holding together, so I'm, I'm pumped. I don't even know what to say right now, but let's get it. <laughs> Did something at the top end. I think it was riding out, coasted to a 1060 at 92. Well, that might be our last pass for the day. Did a huge wheelie. I'm really trying to get that front half down, but it's such a fine line. If I slip it just a little too hard, those front tires just come right up. So it's definitely pretty crazy every time it happens, but we'll uh, double check things, see if we have enough time to make a pass or not. I'm just not sure. Like I said, I think I heard something pop. It might've just blew a charge pipe right there. The engine sounds good and everything. Here, let me turn it over real quick without the pump. Yep, motor sounds perfect. So nothing wrong there, but I did feel it let out because I was gonna stay in that and ride it out, even though I did the big wheelie. And it probably wouldn't have been faster because of that, but uh, she lost some boost though. Well, did you hurt it or did you just let out? Um, no, it sounds fine, but it might have blown a charge pipe or something. Oh, did I it fall gonna, off pretty hard? Yeah, I was gonna stay in it, even with the big wheelie. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I heard it pop in third gear. It was just all of a sudden nothing, but it's, it ran fine on the way back. Compression's good and everything. Okay. It really, it's, I heard a boom. So I think that I bet this back pipe. charge pipe blew or something. Cool. I'm gonna pop the trunk and take a look at her. That, that's yep. a day ruiner. There she is, just popped a charge pipe. Not a big deal though. Yep. I mean, we turned her up a little bit, so she's starting to make a little more boost. I was gonna say, if that's the biggest of our troubles right now, we're doing good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather have that than some bent valves. Right. No, engine sounds perfect other than that. Yep. Big wheelie, 60 footed on the rear tire, went like a 157 or something. Yeah. So, not exactly ideal, but at least we got that 850. That gives us something to build on. Yeah, I think we should just call her there. Yeah, probably call it a day. Yeah, we got a lot of other things to do yet today. Yeah, so. we have some stuff to get taken care of with you guys. We'll see why soon, but. Yep. Well, darn. Have to put some nice beads on oh, those or something. Clamp. Here, film that. Yeah, broken clamp. Gonzo's, baby. Yeah, it literally broke the whole clamp off. It didn't. It's not that it popped. I think the clamp just literally yeah, the let go. Yeah, go. look. Freaking blew our clamp out, dude. Yep. Rip. Too much boost. Well, that's actually probably because I over tightened them. Yeah. Cause that was one of the old ones. Cause we had a couple yeah. of broken clamps. Yeah, one night I tightened them all up super tight. And then I came back <laughs> the next morning and three of them were popped off and broke because overnight they, the pressure just ripped them apart. So yeah. I just got them a little, a little too snug. That you know? little electric ratchet went to town on them. Yeah, <laughs> I had to make sure they were tight for all the boost. Right. Super successful yeah. day. New PB 850, officially the second. Actually, it's right now it's the only MR2 in the world that has gone at 8.5. You know, the other guy jumped over it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, but, first 850 MR2 in the world. What's up? MR2, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, claim yeah. to fame there, baby. Got our PB, best trap speed ever so far, 167. So pumped on that. Shooting for the 170s hopefully soon. But we got some stuff to do today. So unfortunately, that's going to wrap it up for this video. We got to get going and uh, get this girl loaded up. But I'm pumped, dude. Awesome track day for sure. Heck yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I think it's in. Yeah. Just keep working on it, chipping away at it. Yeah, I don't want to say anything too soon yet, but I think the valve springs were definitely the key factor there because I've never made this many passes yet without having some sort of issue. Right. So we're looking good there. Knock on wood, it's still only four passes in, but it seems like she's running good. Yeah. So Hell huge yeah. shout out to JBR for helping me out with the head as well. That was awesome. Well, guys, got the MR2 loaded back up, and I was going to wrap it up for today. New PB. Did a massive wheelie still, car still running. So overall it was a good day. Hell yeah it was. Got Wyatt over there, posing like one of the French ladies on the trailer. Always. <laughs>
but start my modeling career get my book on amazon we got to get you your own calendar man <laughs> 2021 we're coming out and swinging but that's gonna do it for this video guys hope you enjoyed and we will see you later